hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i am gonna do some oranel design with some water drops as well i hope you're gonna like it and let's dive right into it so in this video we're gonna see the application and then after the application is done we're gonna carry on with the nail art just like i said in my last video i start my application from the bottom using small beads at this moment in time i'm not rushing to get a bigger size brush just because i feel like size 10 the one that i'm using in here it's really perfect for me and as you can see it picks up the right amount of acrylic that i need to build up the nail here i'm trying to smooth out the bead by going slowly towards the cuticle area that way the application looks smooth and it doesn't look too thick Here we're trying to place the bead under the cuticle area uh, Just as you can see there is a small gap I'm sorry you are not able to see it properly as my finger covers it Basically you leave a little gap and push the acrylic towards the cuticle area Because I wasn't able to show you on the finger last time what I did to the cuticle area, I am trying to show you here. Speeding up a little bit of process, I am going to tell you how to position your hand and your fingers when you're applying the acrylic. So the finger needs to be pointed down so that when you apply the bead, the acrylic will run smoothly by itself down and you only need to pat it and drag it just a little bit and cover the areas that the acrylic doesn't cover it by itself. So as you can see in this video, I just applied the bead and now I'm dragging it slowly down while also the acrylic kind of runs smoothly by itself and it's not just staying in one place. This is the area that we need to pay the most attention as when applying the acrylic you want to go slowly towards the cuticle area make sure you don't touch the skin and if you do touch the skin make sure you take the acrylic while it's still wet because once it dries it's going to be really hard to file it down or get rid of it unless you want to hurt the client So here I'm going to jump straight into the nail art tutorial and for this design I'm going to choose the color orange. I don't have at the moment an airbrush so I choose to do it with an eyeshadow palette. As you can see it's not a strong color so it's a little bit annoying but it came out pretty good. So I'm just going to tap the color into the middle up and down. As you can see the color is not that strong so in order for you to embrace the color you need to tap it multiple times into the middle but make sure you also go outside of the area just because you just don't want to create a line because as you can see in this video it seems more like it's a line and not an aura I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit more so you can understand what I mean 
here is the part where I'm also going outside of the area so you can see it actually creates that aura effect not just the string It was me fighting with the lamp because it's in the way. Oh, I hate it so much. Anyway, let's get back into the nail art. And um, yeah, it's crazy how you can just use an eyeshadow to create something so nice and simple. This is how we end up looking on all of the nails. I am actually shocked. So going forward with the design, what I'm trying to use right now is the top coat. I'm using matte top coat here because I don't have enough of normal top coat. I use a thick layer of matte top coat and then put it straight into the lamp because if not, it's gonna, it's gonna fall down. It's literally gonna go down. And after, I'm using the little bit of um, the shiny top coat that I have left and place it on top. I'm trying to be smart and i put it into the lamp and look look just look at it it just looks beautiful already yeah i am so proud i am so proud to achieve this and if you do end up doing this design please um post it on your instagram and tag me into it i would love to see your work as well and if you're creative and add something on top of what i did already then i'll be more than happy to repost it on my story also where would you wear this design it gives me met gala vibes but not everybody can afford to go there so let's be honest with ourselves um maybe more like night out in greece but let me know your opinion you can also comment and message me privately on the instagram and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you. Bye.